Hi guys, welcome along to another tutorial from Learn For Free. Um, today it's just a quick one. I'm going to show uh, you guys how to install new fonts onto your computer. Now we all know that we get quite a few fonts when you get a new computer and uh, generally speaking that suffices most people. But you'll find that if you want to draw some um, flyers or newsletters or something like that, posters, advertising something, um, you may need extra fonts that you haven't got. So what I'm going to do now is show you very quickly, very simply, how to go about doing that. Okay, I'm using um, a company called dafont.com. There, uh, simply go to Google, type in dafont just the D-A-F-O-N-T and click the link and it will bring you here. As you can see these are the categories that you can pick on, pick from here. These are free by the way, although they do ask if you possibly can to make a donation. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to quickly show you how I would go about installing a font onto my computer. Obviously you've got to do it multiple times if you want multiple fonts installed. So let's pick on Medieval, shall we? Gothic Medieval. And that will give us a list of some fonts that we've got. Now, I mean, there's hundreds and hundreds of lists down here. Um, there's, there's pages galore. Uh, as you can see on this particular section, there's 13 pages. I'm not going to go through all those and waste time. I'm just going to pick one near the top. Okay, so let's say that we want to install the Sketch Gothic School. Um, over on the right hand side on a lot of these fonts you will see a little box, Donate to Author. If you possibly can, then please do so. It just helps to keep the site alive and keep the authors uh, up and running and creating new fonts. Now what we do, we want a preview first and see what this looks like. So we just click on here and that will open up another page. And it will give us a list of what this particular font looks like, what the letters look like. Um, so on this one we haven't actually got any capitals as you can... Oh we have, there we have, I've passed them. Um, so as you can see we've got the capitals listed there lowercase there, the numbers there, what they all look like and the special characters there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually download this um, by simply clicking the download button or you can go back to the list if it, if it wasn't what you wanted. And we can do it from the main list if we wish. We can just click back to the list and um, we can click the download button from there either. It doesn't make any difference. And this will pop up and ask what you want to do. So we want to save the file so we click OK and that is downloaded. I'm using Firefox here but the procedure is the same in any browser. And I've downloaded them to this folder as you can see there. The file does come down as a zip file which means you're going to need something like WinZip, 7-Zip or something along those lines to um, extract the content. So we simply right click on the file. I'm going to extract here which will then give us the file that we're looking for. That's the licensing agreement there that you should read. But that's the actual file there, as you can see, under file type, true type, font file. Now we can get a view, we can get a uh, we can get a preview of that if we want. We right click and we've got preview if we want. But we've already seen the preview on the site, so there's no really need to bother with that. So all I'm going to do now is simply click install. It comes up with the UAC, click yes, and now it will install that font and now the, the box is gone that font is now installed and then you can go back and pick another one if you want to do so so that's really it guys to be honest that's all that you need to do to install a new font onto your computer and then when you find that you open your word up next or whatever word processing document you're using publisher or whatever you will find that font available quick word though it won't if you've got if you've got an existing um, application open you will probably find you'll have to close that application, then open it again for that font to become visible. Um, there's no way of resetting it, so uh, it's best to do it before you start on your on your project, anything like that. Okay, guys, well, I think that's about it. Um, if you want any more useful tutorials, have some fun, hints, tips, recipes, whatever you want, pop down see us on our site. I'll put the link to dafont.com in the description. I'll put the link to our site as well in the description so you can come down. Please pop along, say hello. And uh, thanks for watching, guys, and hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Bye for now.